Okay, as a Warriors fan right now, it's feeling like 2015. Like, I'm really getting some, some 2015 vibes, so I just thought that hat was necessary. Also, I paid like $3 for this hat, so it will absolutely be worn. We stay in all bargains around here. Now, in terms of the video today, if you recall, Nike did an entire whole faux fur thing. I was with it. Uh, thankfully, I worked with Nike on a campaign with Outfit Grid, and I was able to have the medium in that white colorway. Well, there was a blue. I may or may not have bought it. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still think. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video talks with TJ, aka TJ2 Swoosh T Yeezy MA2 TJ. Thank you again so much for tuning into this video. And when you're viewing this, you saw me buy a resale sneaker, literally the sneaker you all picked. So uh, once that arrives, we'll do an unboxing and we'll end out the year on uh, on a pretty awesome note because it's, it is great to have you guys involved. But today, the faux fur jacket. So if you guys remember, I believe it might have been last year. Like I think it might have only been 2020. It could be 2019. I don't know. Like all of these years have just ran together in the last too i'll just be honest with you but uh whenever year whichever year it released nike did this faux fur line and so they actually had a blanket and they had a jacket now i'm pretty sure the jacket and the blanket i think they might have been the same price which was 175 i believe and you may think like 175 for that blanket couldn't be worth it no, based on the jacket, it's absolutely worth it. Now, again, I was fortunate enough to not have to pay for the medium in the white color way that I have, or more so a cream. I'm looking at it right now, and it's it's more so like a cream off-white, so fine. I didn't have to pay for the cream one. I uh, was a part of the project with Nike and Outfit Grid, and I partnered with Vashti Cunningham, the Olympian, to pull from her style, pull something from my closet, and provide you guys a cohesive look. And that was a really fun campaign. I participated in that, I believe, like last October. Oh, so maybe it was last year. Last October, so it was in 2020. All right, we got the year down. Participated in October 2020, and that jacket really stuck out in my mind. Now, you guys nicknamed it Precious or The Precious, which is super funny, but, you know, you also helped me pick out my birthday outfit. I wore that. All right, fast forward to right now, browsing Mercari. Just be mindful when you browse, you find things. So, browsing Mercari, and uh, a seller had this jacket. Now again, it was 175. I think I paid 104 for this jacket. I'm pretty sure I paid 104. Now this blue jacket that you guys are seeing, it's a size small. It's not a medium. It's a small. The jacket has an oversized fit. So if you happen to find this jacket, just be mindful of that. It does have an oversized fit. So like that medium fits me rather large. It kind of fits like a large wood, a women's large. And these are women's jackets. Just as FYI, a guy could wear this because I have guy friends that own this jacket. They just went up a size so they could get the baggier look that they wanted. Uh, men, truly, listen, if you get that cream jacket and you have on all black okay i think you hidden i think you i think you checked all the boxes that day so uh the blue jacket is a small the cream jacket is a medium so i just wanted you guys to see a comparison of how both of them look on me um again uh five six 130 listen these days it fluctuates sometimes it goes down 127 130 who knows point of the matter is in most jackets i actually grab a medium so that's why that cream medium is quite oversized the small fits me just as it's intended to and it's perfect for fall slash winter outside of the fact that it doesn't have a hood so i have to take that into account based on whatever the weather is as we move out of fall into you know winter then i'll have to worry about snow but otherwise it's a great jacket to be able to throw on it does have a lining on the inside so um that's actually nice because you don't get super hot based on that like it would suck if it was also faux fur on the inside but it's not that so another mercari fine you guys know mercari poshmark ebay all gems of mine and i shop there regularly so you could browse around just shop like nike faux fur jacket or fur jacket you'll probably find one of these and they have a lot of colors like i think uh bright magenta was another one don't recall if there was like a green one but i feel like there might have been but it wasn't like a green green it was like a weird 
type of green maybe a teal i'm not 100 sure but there are other colors and nike just released like another line of these faux fur jackets except they have hoods now on them and they have like a much smaller swoosh on the back and i think a smaller swoosh right here i just prefer the really big oversized swoosh on the front and that blanket is pretty fire so i may go after that one day uh but just a quick unboxing for you guys so if you like what you saw go ahead hit the subscribe button hit the like button i truly appreciate it and as always act your age not your shoe size warriors are on fire Peace.